Some of the world's top young piano players will be in Hastings in just over a month's time for an international competition. Auditions have been taking place all over the world, but the final will be staged in the Sussex seaside town in March. Preparations for the prestigious event are well underway with a launch party of politicians and musicians. Tom Savides was there to hear how Hastings is determined to hit the right note. Accompanied by the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra, Roman Koshikov takes centre stage. He's playing Tchaikovsky's Concerto No. 1 at last year's competition. This performance by the Russian pianist clinched him the title. He was crowned the winner of the Hastings International Piano Concerto Competition 2018. The piano player was one of the invited guests at the launch of this year's event at the House of Commons. You have to feel music and uh, express your feelings through the music. You can feel the really link to the audience while you play. The competition places Hastings firmly on the classical music map, something the organisers are proud to promote. We're here tonight to celebrate the cultural renaissance of Hastings, which is about the visual arts and about music, all sorts of music. But there is an awful lot of classical music going on in Hastings, so much so that we believe it's a classical music hub on the south coast. And the event is gaining the attention of government ministers like Michael Gove and Amber Rudd. Some people would say it's a bit of a niche event. Is that something that you share? Do you know, the great thing about it is it doesn't feel niche when you're in it. It fills the White Rock. It's not often that the White Rock is filled with people attending for a classical concert. But on this night, it does. Actually, classical music is something everybody can enjoy. This year's competition attracted almost 180 entries from 26 countries. 49 contestants have been invited to perform at the final in Hastings at the beginning of March. Why does a room go very silent when somebody either speaks really well or, or makes a fantastic sound on a piano? Just like comedians, it's timing and that magic kind of stops the air. As the countdown to the competition begins, all those taking part are hoping to hit the right note at the final in March. Tom Savides, ITV News.